All right, we're actually at the point where we can start installing some solar panels. Uh, hell, I'll just show you. All right, we could actually... Today's video, we're gonna install some panels on this solar panel rack from Signature Solar. Now, this rack is designed for four panels, you know, four regular size panels. And of course, I don't have any extra regular size panels. I've got some odd shape panels. They're Sanyo, they're 205 watts. With the odd shape, I can fit five of those on here. I'll show you the panel here in just a second. However, we're gonna try to overload the crap out of this and put 10 on here. I had this idea where maybe I could link two panels together and then we could fit 10 on here. It's technically not designed for that, but I mean, this is really strong and I just, I just don't see why it wouldn't work. I mean, there's a few things that could technically go wrong. I could potentially snap off the head of the lag bolts right there, or maybe over time we could bend or tear the aluminum. I'm willing to take that risk. So let me show you my idea real quick and then, and then we'll get started. So these are the panels that I'm gonna be using. These are Sanyo. The maximum power is 205 watts, 68.8 volts, 3.62 amps. And actually, Signature Solar sent me 17 of these kind of a long time ago, and I didn't get a chance to do a video on them back then. And I don't even think they sell used solar panels anymore, but if they do, I'll have a link down below. We're gonna be putting them to some good use today. So with this odd shape, I can actually fit five of them on there. However, my idea is I'm going to link two of these panels together. So my thought process was if I could just get a bracket and put it across two panels, you know, and secure it down, it might actually work. So of course I went on Amazon and got these brackets. I think they're around four millimeters thick. I don't know. That's probably at least three sixteenths thick for us people in America. So anyway, my plan is, is to slide this into this little channel right here, secure it down with some stainless steel hardware, and then obviously butt the next panel up to it and link them together. We'll throw them on the rack and hope that it doesn't fall over or break. Think it's gonna be too much? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, again, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're just gonna go with it and see what happens. Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Just like new. Maybe this will be a video on what not to do. What are we thinking? Are they gonna start calling me Ghetto Joe? Maybe. Cause this is pretty ghetto. I have one in there that broke. It's not a good sign. Uh, what we could do actually once right now is see if we can at least lift it up. See if the bolts just break. Oh, they don't. Interesting. That's a lovely sound. All right, cover your ears. I think it might hold. All right, I think it is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and secure all the other panels together and then we'll start mounting it to the rack. Boom, all done. It took a little bit longer than what I thought it was gonna take. Actually putting the rack together took way less time than linking all of these together. But anyway, we did actually get it. Show you what I got here. Eight stainless steel screws. Do we think it's gonna work? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. And I almost forgot, I did order some longer stainless steel bolts for the center clamps. And a buddy of mine let me borrow some of these adjustable end clamps. So we're gonna give these a try. If I can't get these to work, I'm gonna have to come up with something a little bit different because the size of these panels are just really, really thick. And I also had to get two more of the center clamps because the kit only comes with enough for four panels basically. So I did order two more clamps. I got a couple of clamps to help me hold things. Got my six millimeter Allen wrench. I think I would normally start in the middle, but I think I'm actually gonna start on an end. Uh, we'll see if that's a bad idea or not. Look how tall that is, I should measure it. 52 inches times two, so 104 inches long. 
Oh, that's gonna be fun noise. Oh, that's loud. Cover your ears. And I think what I'm actually gonna do is maybe offset them a little bit so it's a little more top heavy and maybe that'll help out with the balance. Again, I don't know, I'm just kind of making it up as I go. And for being offset, you know, a little bit more on top, I think that's gonna be good because it actually gives me a little bit more room across the bottom for winter time and the snow coming off. I like it. My favorite sound in the world. And I am obviously way too short for this top end, so ladder it is. And then a mid clamp right here. Slider on over. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be a little bit of a task to do by yourself. So the places where I put all the brackets and the screws, they're actually touching, so I can't be perfectly together. And that's okay, I'll try my best. My arm is too short, I have T-Rex arms. I think I'm a little crooked. Maybe that won't be too noticeable at the end. What's your over under of this actually staying up and not falling over? I guess I should have measured this at the beginning, huh? Oh, I mean, we're pretty equal. Just enough room. There we go. Look at that. Watch, if I take off this clamp, will the whole thing fall? Nope. Nice. Here we go. 10 panels on a four panel rack. Boom, look at that. We got all 10 panels on there. What do we think? We think it's gonna work or not? I think it's gonna work. All right, so uh, the only thing I guess that is a little different is like the gaps and stuff in between because of course we have this little like U channel right there. All right, so then if we go up to the bracket, the aluminum and the screws and all that kind of stuff kind of push the panels apart just a little bit further than, you know, it normally would. All right, so here's what I did for just temporarily holding it down when I was putting it together. Obviously, this is not what you want to do. The side of these panels are so damn thick, it might be kind of hard finding the correct, you know, end clamp. Basically, what you want to happen is this little lip right here, you want that to go down on the rail here, so that way when you tighten the bolt down, it kind of kind of tilts it this way and helps hold down or clamp the panel. So yeah, I don't think I can use just regular clamps. I'm probably gonna have to come up with a spacer down here. And a buddy of mine recommended maybe just using a piece of conduit, which we may end up trying. Moments later. Yeah, I just turned the clamp around and it's got that little Z bracket on the other side and that clamps down to this little U channel on the panel and that's pretty solid. I think for now, I'm just gonna leave it. If it does hold up or if it doesn't fall off or anything like that, I might just end up cutting off these two extra pieces of aluminum, but we'll see. Uh, I guess if I leave it there now, I just gotta watch out that I don't run into it. So I think that's gonna be my temporary solution until I find something better. I think we're in pretty good shape right now. So I guess what I wanna do now is just kinda do like a shake test to see Nice and solid, holy crap. I think we're good. I don't think I'm gonna snap any lag bolts that I know of yet. I'll bring the camera over and you, maybe you can see it wave saying hello. All right, there you go. I don't think that's too bad at all. Solid, looking good. Yeah, we're good. All righty, well. There you go. This is a little over 2000 watts, I guess in perfect sunlight. So I guess we'll see what we'll actually get. I wonder if you could actually use regular solar panels, you know, their normal size solar panels and stack those together. I guess if anybody gets this rack and does that, definitely let me know down in the comment section. All right, so anyway, there you guys go. 10 panels on a four panel rack. Let me know what you guys think. I think it worked out fan 
freaking tastic. Uh, if anybody's interested in this rack, of course, it's from Signature Solar. The newer one, again, like I said in the last video, it is adjustable now, so you should be able to angle this. You know, I think you got a couple different angles. Anyway, it's like $279. So if anybody's interested in the rack, I'll have an affiliate link down below. All right, I guess the next video will be wiring it back up. All right, don't forget to like that smash button and I will see you on the next <laughs> And I don't tell anybody what they can and can't do or what they should or shouldn't do. Uh, um, ow. Um, yeah, thank you for that. Thank you. Yep, every time I got the camera.